My name is Mike New. I'm the quarterback coach at Tulane University. Bucks left, gun flank right, 23 wide stick, 34 bob. Q8, 384 Raider. We got a new winner. Bunny hop, let's go. Two X and Z mesh. Gun on the right, under on the left. That's it. You gotta get it. Get the peacock on the flat. Well, the last three years with the Saints organization, I worked as a college scout. So I traveled the country during the fall scouting college players for the NFL draft. And I missed coaching. You know, I've, prior to that, I was a head coach of the New Orleans Voodoo in the Arena Football League. Uh, when Tom Benson owned the team, I was a head coach for the four years that we played. And I always wanted to get back to coaching. And when uh, CJ offered me this opportunity, it was a no-brainer for me. Uh, I love his style. I love what he believes in. He's a great recruiter. Uh, it's a challenge to turn it around here, but it's a challenge. I love a challenge, and I wanted to be a part of it. Again, yeah, do that again. Hey, don't be three out of the four you guys are too shallow. Make sure you get a little bit of depth coming out. Get, get some depth coming out. Head around. You just got taken out by the strong safety on the blitz. So Robert, but you got to make sure that the right tackle was still on his way down. You got to make sure you got to give a look over it, right, left, make sure everybody's set, and then go. Make sure they're set or up with the penalty. You know what I'm saying? Give your, stick your foot in the ground so he falls down. Fake me out. Fake me out. You know, I'm an honest and upfront guy. I let the quarterbacks know that, you know, I expect a high level. Uh, of success and the only way we're going to achieve that is to practice that way uh, every day. You know, you practice the game full speed, you work full speed in drill periods uh, and you have a much better chance for success uh, when you get into team periods and you hope that when you practice full speed that it carries over to the game on Saturday. So uh, that's really, you know, I'm an upfront guy. I tell the guys exactly what mistakes they make and exactly what we need to get better at in the meetings. Oh, you got it down the gut. Oh, that's it. Good. good. Good job getting it out. Got him right down the gut. Sorry. Good job fielding the snap. Great job fielding the snap. Three. Okay, you can't take a five in the red zone like this. It's one, two, three. If you see him, you got to give it to him in the back corner. You with me? You can't take five and wait and then rip it. Reed and Keith, if that corner turns in like that, then we got a shot on the fade route, right? If it's a three step drop, one, two, three. Get it up. You're going to start belly in or, or running your bubble where? The tackle? Okay. So once you clear, you're right here and then you're going, right? All right, get it timed up right before he hits that tackle, okay? You don't want him to get too wide or it's, he's gonna outflank him and we're, we're gonna be in trouble. You gotta get it quicker. Again, full speed rounds gotta be a little quicker. That's a little bit quicker than that. Snap, let, he's getting too wide right there. I love this group of quarterbacks. There's four guys that I work with every day. You know, you mentioned Ryan Griffin, DJ Ponder, Jordy Joseph, Devin Powell, young, talented freshman. But I, do, I enjoy working with those guys every day because they realize you have to pay the price if you want to be good. You have to spend time studying film. You have to know your assignment. There's going to be certain players or some players that struggle to get lined up. They got to direct traffic on the field. And, and hey, there's never a time to push a panic button. And I tell those guys that every day. And you know, it's, a, it's a process, but those guys have gotten better each and every day. And they do anything that you ask of them. We presented them with a lot of information in spring football, I was surprised how much they could take on in such a quick uh, period of time. So uh, that was a, a, a big surprise to me. And I think they've done a great job of buying in to what CJ and the staff has asked of each one of those guys. And, you know, we know it's a, it's a, it's a long road. Uh, we're practicing hard and, you know, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. But our guys know if you buy in, you work hard, then the results uh, will show. We want to win. Uh, you know, if you're not in it to win Conference USA Championship, then you're in it for the wrong reasons. I would never lie about that. We want to win Conference USA. Love to win Conference USA this year. Uh, it's one game at a time. It's one practice at a time. We have to build confidence. If we're able to build some confidence, uh, then we can get that done. Throw it through that guy. You're going to have to touch him up over the corner. Okay, You're going to have to touch him up out there. Okay? Just don't let RG get too wide on there. Snap it before he gets himself outside so there's a little bit of an exchange release that he always talks about the exchange release. I like a good touch on the wide route. Next side, next side, next side. Two one? Oh, it's a good touch. Oh. Good touch. Baseball guy.